Welcome everybody uh, to our March community call. We're gonna do things a little bit different this time. Uh, we're going to release this video on Friday the 17th. Then we'll have a general AMA with uh, questions on the 27th. However, next week we'll have an AMA about our SDLC process that we announced today with arbitrary execution on the 21st. And then uh, like regular, regularly scheduled, we have options talk with Marty on the 22nd. Now make sure to stay tuned till the end of this video because we're going to also be showcasing uh, a V3 demo as well as some other surprises. Now, we were supposed to release this video a week or two ago, but given the excitement, excitement and news, we decided to push the release date to the 17th and then re-record some of these sections. So, regarding product, right? The exchange layer code is locked in and we have high test coverage. We'll continue to increase this test coverage as we continue integrations with other layers in V3. The SDK is testing now. Quotes are streaming in great from multiple inventory sources. And currently we're doing the, the tuning phase of the SDK to make sure our front end is quick and responsive. This SDK will allow for any developers to pull in live pricing from our network. We're also rebuilding the Web3 architecture stack from the ground up. Now this is including a, a monorepo where we can host uh, multiple different sites like the Academy, Documentation, V3 Core, but then also reuse a lot of components uh, while still providing a responsive uh, and a beautiful design that you're used to. Now, one thing that we haven't announced before is that uh, the SDK and a lot of that Web3 stack will be open source to allow for teams of all sizes to plug in and create their own user interface. Now, remember, we'll have referrals in V3. So we invite developers to build out their own front ends, reorder to the exchange, um, and collect their portion of the trading fees. Now given the news today, we want to publicly announce that our on-chain limit order book will live in Arbitrum Nova. You'll have programmatic API access, as well as the standard UI to encourage strategists and market makers to plug in directly. Because of Arbitrum Nova's low cost and high throughput, we believe it's the best place uh, for our order book to live. Um, we want to build it in a decentralized first method. And so, you know, putting it on chain, we figured we might as well do from the get go. And we're happy with our, our final decision of Arbitrum Nova. Now, if you're a low um, throughput or flow trader, then there will be no cost to you. When you sign a message on our front end, whether it be a limit order or an RFQ quote, which is more likely going to be the limit orders, we will pay for the gas price for you, route that through a relayer onto Arbitrum Nova, then it will live on chain where it's then indexed and brought to our front end. If you're a high flow trader, we are allowing for API access where we'll still continue to pay for the fees, but we'll still we'll, we'll ask for a monthly subscription cost, it will be immaterial for the most part, but just to help us pay for those, those transa transaction costs if you're, you know, you're doing hundreds or maybe thousands of cancels and corrects and, and limit orders on a given day. Now the market making vaults are also nearing completion. They'll probably be complete close to, close to the end of next week. So we can provide the V2 experience in V3. There's gonna be four vaults in total. There's gonna be both put and call vaults for wrapped Ethereum and wrapped Bitcoin. Now, uh, in accordance with our SDLC announcement we made today with uh, arbitrary execution, we're clearly building a security first uh, platform and those principles are near and dear to us. <clears throat> and so uh, we encourage you to join us on the 21st as we discuss what this means for our users uh, with V3. When it comes to research, um, more on the vaults, I can happily say that, you know, some of the uh, quants on our research team are, are doing Solidity comment, uh, commits uh, directly, obviously, with oversight with our, from our senior Solidity engineers. Now, one thing that's going to change from V2 to V3 is there's going to be no more queues. Everything's going to be pro rata, right? We're using the vault 4626 standard. So if you deposit in the vault, you can withdraw at any time. Similar to the Knox vaults offering, 
when you withdraw, you'll get your collateral, you know, the underlying. But then also, if you have any pro rata versions of positions, you'll be able to withdraw those as well. You can sell to close them. You can hold them to maturity, whatever you want. We'll also already have some community members and external teams building vault strategies for V3. We have one group that's working on a, sp a spread-based market-making vault. We have one that's working on a delta hedge market-making vault. Um, some of them are working on multi-leg strategies, right? So multi-leg is what you typically see when you see a credit spread or a condor, um, bull spread, all of those different types of strategies. We'll have a vault that does that. And then in the coming weeks after the initial launch, we'll also have a add to cart methodology in which that you can have you can choose the different legs that you would like to purchase and then order them or um, create the transaction to purchase those all at once. Outside of, of the immediate V3, uh, we're already looking at the second level of margin, right? So closer to May and June, you'll see the first level of margin, which will be isolated margin. And then towards the end of summer, you'll see portfolio margin which allows positions in your CDP or vault to then act as offsetting margin for um, the different legs of a trade that you may have on. Also, with a lot of the Oracle updates and buzz that you've seen lately with Chainlink Function, some of the Gelato offerings, we think that we have a path to decentralization on creating dynamic implied volatility, creating a dynamic and implied volatility service on chain which in the past we had been modeling through Deribit APIs and then bringing on chain to, to use on our platform. And last, I just want to reemphasize our commitment to security. Like we announced today in our trilateral audit strategy, we'll be doing code reviews, which is with arbitrary execution. I'd also like to announce that the margin, isolated margin components, has started that audit this week with small quants and then we'll be doing a behavioral audit um, towards the end of April to do a trading competition in which that we can stress test the system. Now, onto the operations side of things. So here you can see a VX Premium update uh, month over month. This is you know the end of February. You see we have marginal increases, healthy increases. Uh, we had previously discussed that this is going to play into the emissions. You can see that 55% of influence currently resides in Arbitrum. We'll be making an announcement in the coming weeks on how that will actually play out and what the record date will be. Moving on, um, when we, like I said, when we were originally going to do this presentation, it was, it was at the beginning of March. However, to give you some uh, background, we had an event at ETH Denver. Over 300 people were in attendance. It was a great turnout. And it was made up of partners, community members, vendors for a night full of te tequila and tacos. We had a, a couple thousand tacos. It was co-hosted with Alchemix. Um, a lot of secrets that I can't share quite yet, uh, but we'll be releasing those in the upcoming weeks uh, as more groups you know, are, are starting to commit to you know, our, our DeFi alliance. If you ever feel, I want to remind you, if you ever feel out of the loop, make sure to check out our YouTube and our Medium. We continue to post updates regularly there and frequently in our commitment to full transparency. The parliament elections begin tomorrow. So we, uh, if you've been following along, we have 14 community members that have stepped up to the plate. Um, I've put in the bios that have been provided um, on, on multiple different locations. You can come into the Discord. We have a channel specific if you want to ask them questions. Like I said, there's 14 of them. 10 will make the cut. It'll be a weighted voting. So the 10 of the 14 with the most votes, most influence casted, will become the initial members of the parliament. So go in, start that vote starts tomorrow, choose the member or members that you want to represent you in the upcoming governance decisions. And then the last major announcement I, I want to, to say today is something that we've been working on in stealth for, for quite a while, but the vaults and staking products will be open to new jurisdictions at launch. So Premia has been you know, working on this, both with our in-house legal team and our external legal team. But we're going to be pioneering a new legal framework 
uh, to offer some of those products in an open compliant way to users residing in provinces such as the US and Canada. And now on to COIN to talk about different partnership conversations that we've been having. All right, so on the partnership side of things, uh, we're starting off with Camelot Dex. As a part of our larger liquidity migration arbitrum, Premium wanted to support and partner with an ecosystem-centric Dex. So as we discussed with the community, we migrated some of our liquidity over to Camelot. Ads Finance, as we gear up for our V3 release, bug bounty pools through partnering with them will go live to help incentivize responsible disclosure of exploits and assist us in securing the protocol further. This will run alongside or in tandem with uh, you know, things we're doing with Sherlock, such as Code for Arena and other bug bounty programs. Next is Silo Finance. We're excited to introduce some additional utility. The premium token through a partnership with Silo. Uh, Silo offers isolated lending markets. These will go live in the very near future after some more data and simulations are complete. But both our team and theirs are very excited to have premium markets go live soon. Next is Dolomite. If you're not familiar with uh, Dolomite, they are a they offer a money market and margin trading protocol on Arbitrum. Uh, I don't want to leak too much alpha, but Caesar's been chatting with them over the last month and a half, two months or so, uh, exploring ways to incorporate what they're doing with Premium. So pretty excited about that. Keep your eye out. Uh, next on the list is Dairy. Uh, Dairy, we're in the very early stages of, of kind of discussions with them. They reached out on uh, about an options alliance, um, uh, putting together different types of fireside chats, AMAs, and content um, between the different options protocols. Uh, so we're, we're uh, always happy to uh, join in on initiatives like that and looking forward to kind of see where, where that goes and what it materializes into. Uh, Next is Token Terminal. We're live. Been a long time coming, but if you're a Token Terminal enjoyer, you can now find all of Premia's data live on their site. Rep3. Rep3 reputation, achievements, progression, education, leaderboard seasons, and a lot, lot more. Um, Rep3 is an on-chain reputation protocol. DK has touched on this a bit with the community and passing conversation, uh, but we're pretty excited about all the ways on-chain actions can be tied to reputation within the Premier Republic, we could call it. GSR, um, GSR, we've been chatting with uh, on a few different topics from market making Premia, market making Premia, the protocol, uh, as well as participating in, uh, in Nox, uh, Nox auctions. Uh, still in the early stages of discussions, but just putting this out there for uh, transparency sick. Uh, Paradigm, if you're reading, if you've reading, if you've read the research primer, you're aware of uh, the RFQ network that will be available on Premia. Um, it's prevalent and used by many market makers on centralized platforms. Uh, so we're currently discussing some ideas we had around uh, supporting on-chain, off-chain order books, uh, RFQ networks through uh, with Paradigm. Um, two on the, the list that, uh, you know, this was made just before uh, Denver, uh, but I wanted to include these guys on here. We, we've had some really fruitful conversations with both Risk and Smile, um, you know, both building products and the kind of volatility sector, you could say. So I'm, I'm pretty uh, excited about those conversations and seeing where that goes, what that turns into. Uh, thanks. And we will pass it back over to you. Moving on to the marketing updates. First of all, in January, we launched the Knox Vaults and created a whole marketing campaign to highlight and showcase them as much as we could. So the content for it ranged from long form articles on Medium, showcasing what the vaults are, how you can actually benefit from the use of the vaults and uh, the step by step guide on how to use the vaults. Also, we added some Twitter support in terms of simple tweets, Twitter threads, um, different partnerships, AMAs, and uh, content of this sort. Along with this, we launched two new types of written content. It's our governance series, where we talk more about different concepts of the governance on our path to become a proper DAO, and the premium take newsletter, where we're discussing what happened in the DeFi option space and what happened with Premia in the past two weeks. Both content types are launching on alternating Fridays bi-weekly. Also, we launched a new YouTube channel 
where we have enriched our video content offering. So there you can find how-to guides. We started off with Knox Vault guide, but you can expect more how-to guides coming closer to the V3 for separate features and separate parts of the platform. There you can also find AMA recordings in case you missed the AMA in real life. You can rewatch it whenever it's convenient for you. We also launched the V3 video series with the first video explaining our white paper in simpler terms. And uh, DK is uh, logging in the Theta logs to our new YouTube channel uh, where you can understand a bit more what's happening in Premiere and what is our progress on the uh, weekly and bi-weekly basis. We're also adding a broader perspective on the option space via our Premiere and X Marty option talks, where um, we invited Marty from Rush BTC Twitter handle, and we're discussing different topics um, surrounding the option space and DeFi space in general that might bring you more practical perspective. Marketing and numbers. So first of all, we achieved 76% increase in average weekly active users. We're currently at over 3.7K and uh, the same for average daily active users. We're currently at 705 users per day on average. In terms of the volume, we reached 19% increase and uh, it represents 281 million over this, uh, over this amount and uh, over 12 million point one in TVL, which is 42% increase since the last time we had a community call. In terms of community numbers, our Twitter is constantly growing. We reached 20% um, up and uh, are currently at even 24K as of today. And uh, in terms of Discord members, we are um, growing slightly slower, but planning to change this with new um, community efforts. So what is planned for spring? First of all, our main focus now is the academy content. We're planning to launch an academy that will be very educational, immersive, and uh, in part even gamified. So it's going to be not only beneficial for you to learn, but also it's going to be fun and you will earn some perks while learning how to uh, navigate your way in DeFi option space and how to actually use Premium V3. Along with this, we're revamping the website and docs. So also the aim is to provide more information for you um, and uh, describe exactly what is changing. So you can jump straight to trading or providing liquidity on uh, Premier uh, as soon as we launch the V3 version. Uh, we're also working on community focused initiatives. So thinking of ambassador program or um, something along these lines. And uh, also different things that will help us make our community more fun, more engaged. Things like token gated roles, onboarding flows, and everything of this stream. And along with this, uh, we're working on video content. So you can expect more explainers, more engagement videos, and uh, different visual things coming from Premia. And uh, also, obviously, adding more alpha and strategy focused content via the newsletter and via the talks format, where we're planning to invite also different protocols, invite our partners and uh, invite the options traders to enrich the experience for you. Awesome. Now on to the demo. Thanks everyone for bearing with us. Uh, I'd like to present uh, the first uh, live view of V3. Um, the whole team has been working tirelessly on this uh, so definitely thank Roderick and his team on the Web3 architecture side, the smart contracts guys, uh, smart contracts engineers, as well as the research team for, for all coming together to, to get this done. But uh, not only them, uh, the whole Premia team. Proud to show you this today. So you've brought to a, a typical interface in what you see with Premia. We'll go in and we'll say, okay, I want to buy a Bitcoin call, right? All right, call, buy. Let's pick a strike price. You can see here, there's different liquidity levels that are shown to you within the, the green denomination on the right-hand side. Now, let's say we wanna buy 33,000 strike, um, which currently has, you know, uh, this is dummy data, but you know, has a, a decent amount of liquidity here. Let's do 33,000. And let's say that we wanna do 
uh, for March 31st expiration. We want to buy one Bitcoin call here. You can see we have our trading view at the bottom. This will be stylized a little bit more to the typical uh, premium brand, which you guys know. But over here on the top right hand corner, you will see uh, that webhook um, stream of the different inventory sources that's brought to us by the SDK. So here we can see that there are uh, a different Oracle providers that are kind of giving this to us. There's a different pools, right? So this is going to be a, a, a wrapped Bitcoin and USDC pool. This is going to be a wrapped Bitcoin and DAI pool. It's giving us different prices. It's going to be sorting it by the cheapest total cost to us. Now, this um, Oracle provider here, you can see this is straight chain link. So it's probably going to be just a wrap Bitcoin to USDC uh, Oracle. Now, for this one, we might have a wrap Bitcoin to USDC and then a USDC to DAI adapter coming from the Uniswap pool, a TWAP Oracle, right? As you all know, V3 will be permissionless. We provide an Oracle adapter. Uh, it doesn't have to be one of our recommended Oracle providers being Chainlink or Uniswap. It can be another third-party Oracle provider. Uh, that's for the, the community and the developer ecosystem to, to, to build on top of, of what, we are, what we're offering here. So let's say I want to just buy this, the cheapest one. Awesome. When I hit the buy screen, I'm showing my P&L chart where I can choose, you know, I can try to, I can calculate some of my P&L given certain strikes. Just confirm all the information. I can approve my wrap Bitcoin to spend as per the premiums. <clears throat> and then I can go ahead and buy that option. Now, when it gets to the pool depositing liquidity side, well, it's a, a similar interface. Okay, so we're going to deposit into the wrap Bitcoin USDC pool. We can see this one definitely has the most liquidity. I'm going to choose a strike price. Um, let's do 25000 And let's do April 14th. Right, so we're going to deposit some uh, liquidity here. We can show in which the premium ranges that we're willing to underwrite this risk. All right, we can change this around too, so we can be like, okay, we want it to be one here, we want it to be, you know, maybe five here. Um, the interface will be able to drag and, and drop in and zoom into this. Here on the bottom is a is a bubble chart where we can see where the different liquidity kind of resides, and then I can use this to to click on and and uh, navigate directly to the liquidity pool if I so choose. I can add liquidity. Um, obviously, it's, it's not plugged into the smart contracts directly right now, but hope you guys liked it. Uh, this is the, the, the first demo that we've given to the public. Uh, welcome any feedback, and we're excited to, to share it with you when we go live soon. So thanks everyone for joining the community call today. Appreciate you, and make sure to join us in all of our AMAs next week. Thanks.